we are really doing exciting stuff because we are we are dealing with learning, yeah, which is usually looked at as something that you know is boring and comes as extra kind of work and and so on. But I think we are trying to make it exciting because we are looking at how people actually learn at their workplaces from every day when they talk to their colleagues or you take a picture and show it to someone else. And I think this is the, the exciting moments yeah, of, of, uh, of learning actually at the workplace. And this is precisely the, the type of lurking, learning we want to look at. Yeah, I think layers then is about uh, um, how to make better use of those exciting moments of learning. Yeah? And uh, so that not only individuals can make use of them, but it's actually shared more broadly uh, among a company or among a cluster of, of, of SMEs. And um, yeah, and this is of course the, the, also the main challenge that we face yeah, because yeah, how can we how can we make this useful, more useful, more more useful, more broadly than just having exciting learning moments for each single person? What layers is about is uh, bringing the potential of the internet, the potential especially of mobile devices, to open up learning in small and medium enterprises to allow access to learning to thousands of people who haven't got learning at the moment, opportunities for learning at the moment, or more than that, to enhance the learning of, of people who are on formal courses but can continue and do continue that learning informally within the workplace. So there is it's about bringing that potential and not just bringing the potential to them but working with them to co-develop new ideas uh, to build on that potential. It's about taking the technology uh, into the workplace and finding the best ways of using it to support learning, understanding how people currently work and how they learn at work, not going off to courses, not attending training sessions, but actually how you learn just by doing your job and reflecting on how you're doing your job and where we can use technology to help you do that more effectively. And so where one person is learning well, where they can share that with um, their colleagues and even beyond their, in their, their company into other companies to bring a whole region up and improve how a whole region is working. This is about learning in the center. It's about learning even beyond what we would regard as learning, going into a classroom or sitting in, a, in an exhibition or in a conference, but that's a learning within environments which are, first of all, at the workplace or which are in other uh, situations of, uh, uh, of work and uh, so on. And layers would like to sustain situations which are informal, which are more or less not so much driven by a curriculum, but driven by certain kind of exciting learning situation where I would need help, where I would need support, where I would need scaffolding in a certain situation because I have a problem and I would like to encounter, uh, to talk with other colleagues, I want to like to encounter specific information and I would also like to store something, what I have experienced. So it's very much about on the notion of work-based learning, it's very much around, let's say, work experiences to develop what I would say is to develop work process knowledge of uh, capturing situations. So it's very much about enabling people in practical situations to enact them, to do these situations and overcome in such situations much better. The layer is about how small companies can collaborate to improve uh, the speed of uh, developing skills that uh, can make business better for their members in clusters and networks. Layers is about uh, creating um, technology that is scalable, uh, that allows informal learning not only to take place in, a, uh, in an environment which is closed, which is uh, just limited to your own um, colleagues or whatever, but actually allows informal learning to take, part, to take place on a, on a larger scale and uh, that helps people actually to share their experiences and uh, to develop knowledge uh, in a collaborative way. Layers is about connecting people, I think. Connecting people for increasing their 
professional competence to acquire new knowledge, to share this knowledge, to together collectively um, improve practice, organizational practice, to improve their service of their customers, to improve how innovative their company can be. And this for them um, can be supported by organizational concepts, first thing, and technology in that order. Laird's is uh, about redesigning workplace learning, reshaping it, which is quite a grand ambition in a way. Um, we're looking at the fact that in particular small to medium enterprises have not in some sectors like health and uh, construction haven't been readily uptaking the use of technology to assist learning unlike other areas. So we're looking at to bringing in the technologies to reshape, re talk to the people, we call that co-design, talk to people involved at the, in practice at the, at the, chalk face, at the work face and um, think, saying what, seeing what problems they've got, finding something that really is a key problem for them and then looking at how we can get designs in there to, and then to technology to help them solve those problems. But So a lot of what LES is about at the moment in the early days is seeking out the nature of that problem, not just coming up with solutions, just working in partnership with people in the health sector, uh, in the construction industry, to get to the root of what we could be doing. So that's where we are at the moment, and ultimately that will involve design, uh, technologies, we'll trial them, prototype them, and then we'll roll them out. Uh, to, and that will involve reshaping workplace. I would say uh, learning layers is about uh, scaling up informal learning uh, at workplaces and in that sense I see the, the biggest innovation poten potential for uh, our project in getting out of the uh, ghetto of local practices uh, to uh, share knowledge more about boundaries in, uh, in communities over boundaries of profession, uh, boundaries of uh, knowledge, boundaries of languages, of cultures. So it's uh, for the good of uh, our European community uh, that we uh, start learning from each other what are good practices and how we can share them among the uh, European workforce. For me, it's about helping people to learn and recognise that learning occurs in the workplace by sharing experiences linking it to the work rather than having outside formalised learning which for me is really training uh, and for me that's what the difference is, it's about how you can actually use the, the knowledge, the, the tacit knowledge that you get from practice and how you can begin to share that and, and actually improve your own performance. It's a project that um, tries to address informal learning in, in the workplaces and there's two different let's say sets the construction and healthcare it is as, as much related to the practices that occur there and that enable the different kind of uh, informal learning learning as well as the um, artifacts or things that we can provide that are not there at the moment that support and then make it smoother and also motivate the informal learning because usually it's a time issue so you know that you would like to learn something but there's never enough time so something to deal with all these kind of things and make solutions there. Layers is a process by which a big group of partners are coming together to find some ways to enhance um, learning at work using technology. Learning Layers is an interesting research and development project on the interfaces between formal and informal learning in different uh, application partners' working contexts. With application partners, we mean primarily the healthcare sector and the construction sector. Well, um, in my perspective, Layers is about technology-enhanced learning uh, and it's for informal learning, uh, for people in workplace. Uh, we are building applications which will help people uh, to enhance their experience uh, on the workplace, for instance, and also to learn something. In this respect, we are building uh, applications yeah, on the one hand side and also technology which will help people uh, to do so. For me, Layers is a rich research related with how scaffolding 
issues fit to the communities of practice and also to, to the clusters. But uh, it hasn't been, on my opinion, studied in, uh, in this um, community of practice literature so much. Uh, Layers to Us, uh, Tribal, uh, is all about the investigation of mobile technologies, uh, particularly in mobile learning and where it can add value to uh, sectors such as the health sector and construction uh, and where it can add value to people's lives in the work that they do um, and enhance the way they, they do their work and collaborate with their colleagues. I'm, I'm a GP, a general practitioner, um, working frontline with patients. Uh, and for me, LAYERS is about helping me and my teams to be able to function better using technology and using tools to be able to help us do that much better. Uh, well, for us, for NORSAL, uh, it's a way to uh, come away from the everyday practical approach to uh, medical IT solutions and to look into the, the way our users can uh, become better practitioners. And, and we, we don't have enough time in our everyday work to think about these things. So LAYERS is our, our kind of approach to think about these things a little bit away from our everyday work.